NY Mayor Imposed Mandatory Vaccine for All Private Employers City employees must now obtain two doses of COVID-19 vaccination, up from one before. To beat the new Omicron variety and avoid a winter surge of the Delta form, the mayor stated this first in the nation edict was required no fines have been announced yet for individuals who do not comply with the directive. Mr Chokshi says business council will be available next week. On top of that, Chokshi added, restaurants and other public places would need proof of vaccination for children aged 5 to 11. A minimum of two doses of the vaccination will be required for everyone aged 12 and up to access these locations. Preschoolers and children under 12 were exempt from vaccination requirements in restaurants, gyms and entertainment places. Sports, band, and orchestra need vaccinations for children aged 5 to 11. Previously, only children aged 12 and above had to get vaccinated. As of Saturday, The Guardian reports eight Omicron instances in New York. There are now 3,500 COVID-positive hospitalized patients in New York, up 34% from two weeks previously, according to The New York Times. A week ago, New York had a seven-day average of about 35 daily fatalities, a tiny uptick from earlier this month. Like many preemptive strikes, the objective of de Blasio's latest directive is unclear. Vaccines are already widely available in New York City. Nearly 90% of adults have had one or two COVID-19 injections. 5 to 17 year olds are substantially less likely to get vaccinated but COVID-19 does not affect youngsters as significantly. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, 24 of the 30,646 recorded COVID-related fatalities in New York City were in children under the age of 18. There were 29 pneumonia-related deaths in the city. In theory, increasing the immunization rate to 85 or 90 percent won't make a huge impact in terms of COVID-19 cases. We don't know how successful immunizations will be in avoiding infection and transmission of this novel Omicron variation. New York City policymakers seem to believe that greater immunization rates need broader vaccine requirements. Immunization requirements for eateries have only brought the city to an 82% complete vaccination rate, thus a general private employer vaccine mandate is essential, the rationale runs. With fewer unvaccinated individuals remaining, that method will become more forceful.